Every college and university has a story. The stories may seem similar, but the experiences are unique to that institution. The Delaware State University, former known as the Delaware College for Color Students, was established under the provisions of Morrill Act of 1891. Sports is a huge part of tradition here at Delaware State University. Growing every year are a swarm of more than 300 student athletes passionately compete in 18 NCAA Division I sports. As athletes, they proudly earned regional, national, and MEAC championship titles. As students, they earned all academic honors. It's these traditions of excellence that tells the university's past, present, and future. One of those traditions is football. Guaranteed. Gentlemen, go out there, have fun, fight every play, let them know who we are, and let's send a message to everybody in the MEAC, Delaware State is coming. Let's go win a game today. Once a Hornet, always a Hornet. The past, present, and future of Delaware State University football. My passion for football started uh, probably when I was a youth, and my mom told me that she wasn't going to allow me to play football. Um, and uh, from that point on, it was very difficult because all my friends were playing and I wasn't, especially on Saturdays when we were looking for something to do and uh, they were playing football and I was home watching wrestling. So from that point on, it was always a passion for me to get on the football field. And then my mom finally broke down and allowed me to play when I got to high school and I wasn't very good. So I learned more by watching other people do it that were doing the same job and they were better by watching them. And the more I watched, the more I imitated what they were doing, the faster I grew in the sport of football. And from that point on, I took those same uh, skill set, that same skill set. And when I got to Delaware State and I applied it here as well. And I realized that in order to be a good football player, you had to be a good student and you had to be a good student of the game. My, uh, my journey here at Delaware State started here uh, in the dorm, which is Conwell Hall. Well, this was a men's dorm at that particular time back in 1987. And my actual room was on the third floor. Uh, no air conditioning. I wasn't used to living conditions like that. I grew up in a, a air conditioned home. And uh, so it was a shocker to me. And then coming from a small town in Maryland, uh, I, I wasn't used to the whole black college HBCU experience. I grew up in a very integrated town where everyone got along. And so when, when I came here, everyone got along, but everyone looked like me. There were not many people on campus that didn't look like me. And for me, although I'm an African-American, it was a culture shock. It was like looking in the mirror and playing against someone who had the same skill set, who had the same ability, who had the same cultural background in terms of uh, bigger, stronger, faster. And it was hard to navigate that. But I decided to go back to what I know, being a student of the game. And some guys may have been bigger, stronger, faster, but my thing was they were never smarter and they were never going to outwork me. I can honestly say I learned how to be a black man here at Delaware State. But I was a four-year starter, All-American, All-Conference three years, and then got the ultimate uh, dream. And, and got drafted. Everybody has a part to play. Whether you're an offensive guard, whether you're a head coach, you have a role to play. And if everybody plays their role, you'll win a championship. And I did that with the 49ers. It's great uh, being back here at Delaware State and being able to share my life lessons with, uh, with the, the football players that I manage today. Gentlemen, whatever you have in your tank, you make sure it's empty. These guys, have someone not only has played the National Football League, has won a Super Bowl, but also has been at the same university, walked the same hallways, ate in the same cafeteria, walked the same locker room, played on the same field as they have. My most memorable experience as a player would probably be my junior year when we were down uh, 28 points to Liberty University and we came back with eight minutes and I think 13 seconds to go. We scored 29 unanswered points and we won. It was the biggest comeback of this school's history. And then by the grace of God this year, unfortunately, which the day that I thought I was gonna get fired, we were down 24 points to Norfolk State at halftime and we scored 26 unanswered points in the half to come back and beat them. So the two biggest comebacks in Delaware State history 
Rob Milstead has been a part of both of them, one as a player and one as a coach. I have been around Delaware State football for 42 years. I've done a lot of games here. This was the most incredible win I have seen by a Hornet team in all that time. If I had a student that told me that he wanted to come to Delaware State just to play football, I would tell him don't come. You put it all together, what you learned in the classroom, what you walked through, you put it all together, and then tonight you go back and you watch your finished product. Football is just a vehicle, and people have to understand that. You're not gonna play. Tom Brady's are, are very few in between, over 20 years. It doesn't happen. Most guys play less than 15, okay, and it's over. And then what do you do? If you got that degree, you fall back on it. And that's the one thing that keeps on giving. I have this job because of my degree here at Delaware State. When I think of Delaware State University, um, past, present, and future, uh, the few words that come to mind, um, I would say past, uh, looking back now, family, uh, present, I want to say innovating, innovative, cutting edge, and future, I would say leading the pack. That's what I see Delaware State. This is not that Delaware State College. This is at the Delaware State University where the campus is unbelievably diverse with a multitude of new structures, cutting edge ideas, technology, and a place that young people can flourish on and off the field.